Hi folks, and welcome back to Fishing with Kirk. So, before we get into the main content today, I just wanted to say a massive thank you um, to all of you for supporting me through the, the first few months of, of the channel. Um, so far, I've posted 10 proper videos online, and I've managed to amass an amazing 11,124 views. So thank you genuinely to each and every one of you for, for watching the channel and giving me the feedback. It's really massively appreciated. Right, so to celebrate that, we're going to be doing another giveaway today. So in conjunction with Richard or Richie McConnell, um, we're going to be giving away some leads to two lucky viewers. So Richie um, has got a nice uh, family business making leads. So he makes some top quality leads at, at really unbelievable prices, which I'll, I'll explain. So we're going to give you the chance to win a set of, of 25 of these leads. So to test it out, um, I went on to one of the famous high street angling superstores and put 50 leads and a couple of marker leads into my basket uh, the total there was just over 145 quid um, i did the same with richie i basically did the same size leads and everything and the total was 36 pounds 50 pence so basically a saving of over well almost 110 quid using richie's leads versus the, the sort of branded leads um, we all use loads of leads these days uh, the drop-off systems that a lot of venues insist that you use means that you do go through quite a lot of leads and it, it can become quite expensive if you uh, if you catch a lot of fish. So for me, finding something that's um, a cheaper alternative is, is a no-brainer given that the majority of these things end up on the bottom of the lake bed. However, for two lucky uh, viewers, listeners, um, you're gonna get a chance to win a set of 25 of these leads for, for free. So what do I need you to do? So there's gonna be two ways to win a set of these leads, so one, one set will go to one of my YouTube viewers. So what I need you to do is firstly like the video, and then I'd really like you to put a comment of what's your go-to lead, so what, what size of lead, what shape of lead. And then thirdly, some, at some point during the video, I'm gonna flash up in big green letters a carpy phrase, yeah? And I really want you to quote that in the comments box as well. So like the vid, tell me what your go-to lead is, and tell me what the big carpy green uh, phrases and then everyone who does that will be entered into a prize draw and then we'll get you sent out 25 for these uh, these cracking leads free of charge so it's UK only obviously we don't want to be posting these to uh, to Hong Kong or the Himalayas so UK only please but that's the way to win on YouTube um, and then secondly I'm going to be doing another chance to win on my Facebook channel so if you don't follow me on Facebook jump onto Facebook Find Fishing with Kirk, it's the same logo, and you'll see details of the competition on there for, for a chance to win another 25 leads. So look, thanks again. Um, great, you know, made some great progress in the first couple of months, so thanks for, for your support, really is appreciated. <laughs> Right, so on to the main session then. So 24 hours at, at Yeadon Tarn, a fairly cold start to the day, but really a session aimed at trying to target some of the bigger fish in the venue. So lots of bait in a, in a particular spot, and then we fished some really big hook baits over the top there to try to tempt one of the, uh, the bigger residents. So have a look. Um, let's see if we manage to put one of the, the big fish on the bank. Until next time, tight lines. Right folks, good morning. Here we are, back at the tarn. It's Thursday morning, uh, it's just after six o'clock. Woken up and it's absolutely freezing. The car has been frosty. Um, written you a little message in the uh, in the windscreen, but not what you expect for, for the middle of April. But look, beggars can't be choosers in terms of the, the conditions. The forecast doesn't look too bad. Gonna be a little bit of rain today, um, but it's gonna warm up to sort of nine, 10 degrees, and it's gonna be sort of eight or nine degrees overnight tonight. So not a cold one, um, similarly to last night. So we're on for 24. I've come down early doors. I'm gonna do some pre-baiting. So today's session, um, having talked to Steve, who's one of the owners, I'm saying, how do we catch these bigger fish then, Steve? Because a lot of lower to mid doubles in here, but there's, there's a lot of 20s as well. So it's how do you get amongst those 20s? So Steve's recommendation was bang quite a lot of bait out and fish two rods over that one particular spot. So what I've got with me today is a big bucket full of bait. So we're going to pre-bait with this lot. So we've got about five kilos of pellets and boilies. So these have been sort of festering away 
really in the garage for the last few days a nice sort of sticky fishy mix so we're going to basically pick a spot with a boat now um, we're going to boat all that out I'm going to drop it pretty much on, on one fairly tight spot and I'm going to leave my bucket in the peg I'm going to disappear home for a few hours and I'm going to come back and we're going to fish it so fingers crossed we're going to fish it with one big bait on one rod so I'm going to fish with probably a 25mm halibut pellet tipped off with a, a boilie and then on the other rod I'm going to fish with a really tiny little imitation um, pellet so we're going to kind of mix it up a little bit big bait, small bait and then on the third rod we're just going to drop a PVA bag around around the peg so that's the plan let's get some bait in and give it a whirl Right gang, it's half one in the morning, I'm away on the big boy rod, one with the big bait on, out of nowhere, that big rod's just gone off over all that bait, doesn't feel like a massive fish though in fairness, but yeah, windy night, um, the wind's all over the place, not had a single beep on the alarms and all of a sudden that middle rod's just sprung into life. So let's see what we got on the end. Okay, so it's catted quite a long way left on us here. Definitely working up a bit. So if you remember this is the rod that's got the um, 20 mil halibut pellet on and the 18 mil boilie so it's a big old bait on here that's over a huge amount of bait that we put out yesterday so we put five kilos out never had a touch on it and we topped that up a couple of times so it's probably six kilos over these two rods so we found it in the middle of the night for a chomp Let's see if Mr Chapman's right about his big fish approach. He's just had a big fish out in Croatia, so let's see if we can do the same. Definitely hanging on, look at that. Unbelievable, Jeff. Middle rod. Just got it back out. I'm not kidding you. It's probably been in about eight minutes, ten minutes. Literally just wanged off. One beep and then a one toner. Great day. Two o'clock in the morning. Let's go. They're like buses, these town carp. That last one was probably 11, 12 pound. I didn't weigh it, it was just a nice, pretty, um, pretty stocky, about 11 or 12 pound. So this one has kited right on us. Yeah, lovely job. Nice common in the net. Let's get him out and have a look.
fish on. A morning fish, half past six. Right hand rod with the, what's on that? That's the bottom bait with a fake pellet on it. Happy days. Yeah, not much of a run on that one, it just pulled the bobbin up and just sort of sat there and I just tightened it up again and it just, just kind of nipped off, so yeah. Bit of a tentative bite, but well happy with that. Love a daytime fish. Bugger. Fell enough. Just lost one, so two fish overnight, and just had a run there just before seven, um, and it came off halfway in, which was a bit of a bugger. Didn't feel like the biggest fish in the world, but still not great to lose a fish. Two bites on the, the middle rod and one on the right hand rod. I've not had a, a fish on the solid bag, which has been pretty consistent for me over the over the last uh, the last few months up, up at the town, and I know it has for so many other guys as well. One more thing, so don't forget, this is a giveaway episode, so we've managed to hit over 10,000 views of the channel, which is absolutely incredible, and I've managed to get a bit of sponsorship from Richard McConnell, who is the main man for, for leads, who does some fantastic leads, and the value for money is, is incredible, so I'll share that with you, um, but far, far cheaper than buying branded leads from the, the big tackle shops, and the, the quality is excellent. I've had quite a lot from, from Rich recently, and really impressed with them. Another bite, absolute screamer of a run. It's 10 to 8, that's on the middle rod again, one where we put the sort of epicentre of that, that pre bait. absolutely mental, it's going all over the place. Right folks, it's a wrap. It's nine o'clock, uh, just after nine. Forecast is it's going to rain yet again, boring, um, and I don't fancy getting completely soaked while I'm packing up again, so <clears throat> really happy with that. Three fish out, one fish lost um, in about um, 20 hours, so it's pretty good, so yeah, pretty pleased with that. 